Now I do want to make this work the time though, so let me know what you need. Uh, on the river experience down here, ask questions to the top or I don't want to yet. Um, today is my first day. I'm nervous. 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 Do not stand up. You stand up on my boat. I'm not going to fight you. I'm going to keep you out of the middle of the river. I just really don't recommend it. You get low bridges. I don't want you to hit your head in the bridge. Now, my job's done, but I have personally hit my head on four of these bridges. It's been a pretty tough first day for me. So, thank you. Better learn from my mistakes. Don't stand up on the bridge. It is actually, it is the river full of all that. Massive ball. We got three floors, all these cool little shops and restaurants. We got everything. We got uh, we got over the chow, yard house, Hooters, Margaritaville, Hooters, David Busters, Lego Land, the Hooters up there. <laughs> the history is really kind of more than that. This whole area back here is built in 1988. It's even newer. That's historic. It's really nice. Check it out now. Rule number one is going to stand up. Rule number two is no smoking. It includes the whole bacon in, e-cigarettes, wax packing, sidewalks, and the smoke anything down here. You can drink down here and you can smoke on the street. Don't get around. The laws are going to be ruled. around the river wall. Now if, for some strange reason, something goes out of it, Big head on collision, or I hit my head and break my fall off the boat. We're going to do an ice cream. We do have shit on the radio. It's not cool. 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 It's not Oh, yeah. Take the next up. Every other note I've ever seen. I'm doing a restaurant. I'm doing this. You know, flounder, etc. When this boat goes down, I need you guys to stay calm. I want you guys to go down the ship. Oh. When this boat settles to the bottom of the river, I want you to stand up. I want you to walk out. The water's about three feet. You got to get by the three feet of water. And you actually ask me for a life jacket and you need to do water, I have to give you a life jacket. So I will. Don't be caught. I will make fun of you mercilessly. I'm trying to try wear a life jacket in my boat. You know what I mean? <laughs> That's all I got for the safety right there, so welcome to the crystal clear water. San Antonio River. And you know, I really like to be spent. All my fan speakers out there, I love the intro. Yo no hablo español, I think it's a little gringo. Hablo un poquito, but I don't know the intro. Cerveza, Modorita, Cerveza, 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 it is natural. It's been here for hundreds of years. It goes down south for hundreds of miles. And that's why we have all this you know, history and culture. Right? The Native Americans up here first. The Ayaya Indians. This is one of these men. They called this river Yannick Water. They said peaceful water. They had calm water. The Spanish missionaries at Houston on the line on June 13th, 1691. The day they got me to have a sermon to celebrate that day, to June 13th. To celebrate the really rich and cool Hispanic heritage that we have, I will have a special little uh, Ayaki presentation over here on my right hand side just for you guys. Can I go, please? Can I
If you don't have that famous Marajala lock thing not going so well for you back there, up here in front of us, this big pointy red building with the green roof, that's divorce aisle. That's a very tight courthouse right there, man. Beautiful sunset, but not a very lucky building. The oldest continuously operating courthouse in Texas. Coming back in 1890. Now on my left hand side, we have the Tower Life Insurance Building. It's got that beautiful American flag up there at the top, really proud. And below that gorgeous banner of freedom, we actually have some gargoyles sticking out of those top of the floors up there. You see those gargoyles all the way up there? Pretty cool, right? If you look down here a little bit lower, look right underneath this bottom row of windows, you can compare your ugly, evil looking little faces. Now, those faces right there are called the gross Now, all these little details are put in there because the guys who built this thing were really superstitious. Now, they believe that all of that would ward off bad business and evil spirit. But it's kind of funny because the entire building is currently full of lawyers and insurance sales and all kinds of people like that. The real irony is nobody in 1929. <laughs> totally kidding. Oh my kids are out the window now. No, I'm totally kidding. The real irony here is nobody in 1929, right? And who knows what happened in America back in 1929? Nobody knows. October, 1929. Yeah, well done. The stock market crashed. We hit the Great Depression. So these guys spent over three million dollars building this thing. They opened up about a month and they went to bankrupt. They had to sell the entire skyscraper to the city for $240,000. Crazy good deal for the city. The two brothers that built it both jumped off that building and died right here on the river. And for years, because of that, everybody thought it was fine. Nobody would buy that building for the city. And it sat vacant on the market for 11 years. Nobody would buy it for any more than $240,000. Who cool building? Now here you have a little archway. This is a drawbridge style floodgate. I've got a honk of horn looking at an archway to kind of signal the oncoming boat traffic. This is a boat horn. This is a very, very loud horn. So heads up, don't drop your phone in the river. I see that happening. Right, turn here if you have to. You got a horn in three, two, one. <laughs> I actually have to do that. That's a, that's a company policy. We just happen to have the wimpiest horn in the entire thing to post. Usually, aren't they loud? Once the ringing stops, you know, once the hearing comes, it's pretty cool. This flood channel is the deepest part of the river. It's 26 feet deep out here. And this part's entirely man made from the flooding back here. It used to flood really bad. On September 9th, 1929, we had a flood in the city with 50 feet. So we just marched the three bridges here in front of us. We were all in the top, all feet over the bridge. 12 feet over the street, and it was crazy. They came through with Robert H. H. Mugman, the chief architect of the design of the system. They put in the flood can on the floodgates, and now we can control all the water on the wind. So we can run on the street or out with the other natural parts of the river to leave. Very simple, very easy. We're going to start with about four miles north of here. We're going to stand by the Edward Dalton Park. And both down south, the Gulf of Mexico, the Miami. Thank you. Over here on my left hand side, here's the stairs. It will take you up and out to the oldest church in Texas, the San Fernando Cathedral, or the San Fernando Cathedral. They built it back in 1738. There's some really cool history up there. It's just kind of hard to see right now because the trees are kind of getting rain down here. So if you want to go up there and check it out, it's really worth a while, but especially on Tuesday and the weekend. Right, Tuesday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday night, and I feel like again, we're broadcasting the regular night show on the side of the TV. A brief history of Dan Darnell called the Saga. Super cool, super free, you know, very worthwhile. And uh, Mike did it, and I think it's in my life. In front of us, I hear this gigantic tree up there about our 12 o'clock. That is the oldest tree on the river. That is a clean cypress tree. Estimated to be about 350 years old. Nicknamed the Sniper Tree. During the Texas Revolution, a Mexican soldier would climb into that tree with his rifle and he would pick off all the Texas cavalry and water their horses to have here in the river. I think you're over 100 feet tall, over 55 feet <laughs> This green archway in front of us right here is a guillotine style floodgate. It's got a three ton steel door above your head. You're crashing that every Thursday at 8 to 11 p.m. Oh, oh, water. <laughs> it's like a giant garage. 
I don't use it very often, but every couple of years we will close both these floodgates and we'll drain out the entire river water. Even though it's natural in here, this is the main part of the people. So after a while, you know, all the trash, debris, beer bottles, cell phones, on the right hand side of this new hotel we just built, it built this thing up and around. And this tower that I did. They tore it down. They could not touch. That's why it's quiet. The oldest town in the river, or the oldest place in the bar, is Texas. It opened up back in 1933 on the exact same day. The big lips are all from this. So, the moment that alcohol became legal in America, they opened their doors and they both they saw the bar. And you don't really have any questions there. That's where all that liquor came from for like five minutes. Now, well, before that, during Prohibition, that was the most popular barber shop in all of the Kentucky and Meyer's Barber Shop. You can't start that anymore. You can only back here on my right hand side, we have a small herd of tourists in their natural habitat. Beautiful. Please take your way about it. <laughs> you might not live that yet. You know, tourists can be kind of hostile when they sit there on a boat and wait for it all this way. It's too close to them. Never feed a tourist. That's the Aztec theater back there. Same thing you're doing. You're starting to do In front of us, this little stone footbridge is the famous Satina Bridge. They shot a scene for the movie Satina. Sorry, Jennifer Lopez. Right there on that bridge. Right? 1997. Yeah, big movie, man. We had J Lo come out right here in San Antonio and talk to the most valuable ice in the This is safe. Nobody ever asks me about the battle of the animal. In real life, it's kind of serious. We got engaged there. It's a really popular spot. It's a total of engagement and those kinds of things. <laughs> on my left hand side, this big white hotel right here, this is the Ami Amantion Hotel. It's in the back of 1853 in St. Mary's School of the World. Eventually, we're going to St. Mary's University, a very prestigious law school, and we're going to the west side of the river nation today. The Ami Amantion. The oldest hotel actually down here on the river. Now, as cool as that is, in like five years, you're probably not going to know the Ami or my name or half the stuff I've got. Uh, it's all going to go in one year that's good. Well, I'll thank you for joining me, guys. I'll tell you how. I feel like I'm going to go inside. Pardon me because I can't lose that leg. But this is really cool. This building up here on my left is kind of like an optical loop. And you got to look at it just right. It's moving really slow. And right as you come out from the bridge, it's straight to my left, all the way up the top left side of this building. And it looks like it's two dimensions. We can leave you right about out the front of the way. Straight from my left, all of this big brick wall. It's not a wall. Really? It's not actually a wall. It's crazy, right? Now, that's the Nick Hospital. That was in the very first full service hospital. It was built back in 1930. It was the first hospital in Texas where they built a bar and a hospital. floor. <laughs> That's a niche, man. Really cool little front. Carol Burnett was born in there, so who's Carol Burnett in construction on it? First hospital in the entire country to have fully centralized air conditioning. That was a huge waste of time. Obviously, it never, ever come to that country. Never did a great part. Now, in front of us, this big white hotel right here is the Hyatt Regent. The Hyatt is a really short, shiny hotel. It's actually wider than this tall. It's really rare because it's a lot more money to buy more land than it does to a taller hotel. It's built like that after two full years of shadow death. They test the length of shadow of the gas during every season, every time of day, and they do it once this game is built, they would pass the shadow of the alcohol of the The alcohol is a poor war. It's out of respect and it's too long. If you're going to go see the animal, I highly recommend you do. It's quick and easy for you to get there through that bottle of water. It's called the shop shop hot still and I don't know. And I said, let me get through them. It's all those five. You can put some jazz band that's right here. You don't want to put that on the bed. You got beer gardens, shops, water, all the restaurants. You kind of want to drive that on you. The 
Bible of course the old Spanish church and uh the mission was decided very tragic, very noble back on the hour was in place there on March 6, 1836. And you don't really care about all that history? We're trying to tune me out because if you didn't know you were getting on a historic air raid tour of San Antonio, you're going to be great party Facebook live videos. Yeah, that's cool, so this is the spot to be right here. This is like the heart of the river walk. It's called the River Square. Renovated in 1972, it's just our most popular area. Yeah, you've got a wide variety of great restaurants down here, and you're literally any type of food you can think of. Like Texan food, Mexican food, Texas, 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 Make it fresh in the morning. You really good to the You want the most authentic I here? No, 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 I gotta redeem myself from the joke for the boy I'm serious. Man, I have a sucker to the shit out of him. Okay, okay. That's definitely where the river walk started. Right? I know, yeah, the river's always been here, but that's where it first started. The first restaurant we were at is the first time I had time to This is the restaurant. It's not a ring. It's not a 1946. First restaurant on it. They're the ones who started the whole idea on the river side. The reason I, I have the hook up on my new is because these are all my brothers. I mean, what am I feeling about my ass? I told her you're a little bit of a freak. I'm going to get it. That's a little tunnel we're turning into right here. This is called the Man Made Energy of the River. You guys are not going to believe this. But we call this the Man Made Extension. Man Made Extension of the River. I'm going to show you guys what it looks like. This building with all these flags, that is the Chamber of Commerce building. A building where literally nothing exciting has ever happened. <laughs> it's very important to the city. So I have to talk about it. That was the best thing to do. Every tour you guys take has to cover the same 33 feet once. But technically, all I have to do is drive y'all in a circle and say 33 names and names. If I did that, if I ran around and saying name and name, 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 you guys would be just terrible. You know? So, every book wants to be to elaborate their own style. Some books do a lot of elaborating. You yeah, yeah, never shut up. You can go to the whole time. Other guys are actually really funny and enjoyable. Uh, <laughs> some of these guys will tell you the most modest own books that I've ever heard of myself. Like, like, <laughs> I'm gonna name any names, but uh, if y'all ever come back down here, you take random stories on <laughs> Regardless of how you get the history or who you get from the history, I just like to elaborate. As long as I came a long way, I need the details make it more fun. And the cheesy jokes, those are more for my benefit than yours. Can I do this like 15 times in the night? That's how it's the same. The history jokes. Don't show brand like this. Just keep it down on it. I'm going to find my first day. I'm going to train the dogs, the statue, the statue. San Antonio de Parabas. The patron saint of all the people. I think you can see it really well. It's doing well anywhere else in the state. I still haven't seen it down in the river. We've got our best chance to see it. We've got our three of them. Starboard side of the road, by the way, inside. 
And this is it. It is it. It is it. So this, uh, this is the power of the Americans. It's space and look with power. It's got a glass elevator. It's got an observation deck. It's got a whole rotating restaurant. It's that thing. And it makes one full rotation every hour. So as you're eating your dinner, you get a really beautiful panoramic view of the city. It's really nice at night. You're all the light. The city around is just gorgeous. Uh, the food is really good too. The price is definitely worth taking out of the yard. Back when we built it in 1968, it was the tallest. We kind of copied Seattle. Now we're the second one. Ours is the best one because ours is not appropriate. And unfortunately, guys, I don't know if I hate to say it, we have come around to the hardest part of the tour. It's probably the hardest thing that I've ever had to do in my life. Now, I'm sure you're going to look around and make sure you buy your stuff. You don't do any on here, you can always find some old player on the website. You can go to the other side Hope y'all enjoyed the tour. Hope y'all learned this out here. If you guys did it for a job well done, you can always take your vote check. It's very free. That's how we make our living out here, right? All the people here, this is the two of you. Oh, wow. 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 Oh, wow.